It's a beautiful day here on the C.H. Gannon and Sons Farm in Easton, and grain farmer Greg Gannon is patiently waiting for something to fall from the sky. But it's not rain he's waiting for. We're looking toward the clouds. Jeff Corman showing up to do some aerial seeding for us. He'll get two or 300 acres done today, if not more. He's waiting for Jeff Corman and his crew to sprinkle seeds from the air, seeds that will give life to Maryland's cover crop program. Planting cover crops is critical to keeping nutrients out of the Chesapeake Bay. Cover crops like barley, winter wheat, and forage radish use up leftover nutrients that the previous crop didn't use. They also help prevent erosion and provide organic matter for the next crop. It's so important to the bay, farmers will take their seeds to the skies to make sure they land in the right place at the right time. And what the cover crop does, it pulls the excess nitrogen that's left in the, in the topsoil it pulls it out to keep it from running off into the Chesapeake Bay or into uh, the aquifers or so forth, ditches, uh, but into, into the water stream. The key to planting cover crops is to get the seeds in early, preferably before the current crop is harvested. But using a tractor to plant the seeds in corn that's eight feet tall, it's not possible. That's where the airplane comes in. So that's the benefit of the airplane. We will uh, get it in early in the standing crop. They'll come and combine the corn or the soybeans, which is already there. That'll act as a mulch and get the, the cover crop growing. Besides nutrients, farmers are all about protecting their topsoil, keeping it on the fields for growing and out of the waterways. Dropping seeds from the air makes sense because it won't disrupt the topsoil. Jeff Corman has been buzzing Eastern Shore Farms for 15 years, and he understands the relationship cover crops have with the area's waterways. He notes dropping seeds from the air is also faster. But it's the timeliness of application. That is what it's all about, is, is the effectiveness and how fast the airplane can do it. Flying at nearly 150 miles per hour, Jeff can cover 600 acres per day. And this time of year, just before harvest, Jeff is working from sunup to sundown. After he refills, Jeff's back out over the field, spreading new life just a few hair-raising feet above the crop. You're looking at what's coming through that windshield and looking at your GPS and monitoring your engine instruments. You have a constant scan going on with all of that. You always circle the field at least once before you start applying. While the airplane won't be replacing farming's iconic tractor, Greg Gannon notes that aerial seeding is important to Maryland agriculture. Each year, nearly 2,000 Maryland farmers take advantage of the cover crop program. Cover crops go back a long time prior, of course, to the Maryland cover crop program. Uh, it stands as an incentive maybe for farmers to, to do it more. I think most people do it perhaps because of that, but also it does in fact make sense, uh, not only for the bay, but it's great to have your soil covered uh, in the winter time. Even though this wheat will never be harvested or sold, it's an extremely valuable crop. The Maryland Cover Crop Program covers over 400,000 acres and helps prevent millions of pounds of nutrients from entering local waterways and the Chesapeake Bay.